Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, this is still, or did I make one earlier? <laughs> I'm not sure. Tuesday, March 26th. I was checking the days because all we do is stay in our rooms, and I always do this anyway. <laughs> I'm always on my computer. So this shut down and being shut in and no visitors, it doesn't bother me. Anyway, uh, it's 7.36 p.m. Now, i got to share something with you that is going to blow your mind. I think. It's in mine. I mean, it. well, it's... I don't know. You tell me what you would call it. It's not predictive programming. It's something else. Is it prophecy? Maybe. Are you all familiar with the author C.S. Lewis? Well, I want to read something to you that he wrote. Oh, this one doesn't have it. The one my friend got in her email said it was written by C.S. Lewis in 1942. Let me read it to you. I got it from a subscriber. That I thought was a woman that lived here that I've just recently Facebooked with. <laughs> no, they, they both have the same name. Okay, anyway, here it is Satan. I will cause anxiety, fear, and panic. I will shut down business, schools, places of worship, and sports events. I will cause economic turmoil. Jesus, I will bring together neighbors, restore the family unit. I will bring people back to the kitchen table. I will help people slow down their lives and appreciate what really matters. I will teach my children to rely on me and not the world. I will teach my children to trust me and not their money and material resources. Now, isn't that what's going on? I see when I take uh, I take Buddy for a ride, not for a walk. He walks a little, and then I pick him up. And last, well, when it's pretty out, today it was real nice out. Yesterday was nice, too. Uh, we went down the hill and across the front of the building and to the corner and up just a little ways and then he gets real heavy <laughs> so I turn around and we come back but at least we've gone somewhere sort of and I've seen well you always see runners out always runners and people walking their dogs but lately I've been seeing younger people that are more like would be at work or would be well, at that time of day, they wouldn't be in school, but they'd probably be doing homework. Where now they're doing it all online. And people are pretty much keeping their distance. Uh, some to a ridiculous extent, like they need to be 10 feet away. But anyway, I guess they can't estimate what 6 feet is. But that's okay. Uh, you know, if they want to be that fearful, they, let them do it. I mean, the point is, I thought this was really cool that this was written in 1942. And since people are supposed to stay in their homes and not go out to eat, well, guess what? He's brought dinner back to the kitchen table. Their lives have slowed down because they're not working. The children aren't in school. No, they can't go to soccer practice or what is it right now baseball practice there all that's been canceled so now they're at home families helping with homework who knows what maybe they're even playing monopoly and maybe they're even praying together but hopefully they are learning to rely on the lord this is really awesome and um i just I'm just so glad that this lady, her name is Jean also. There's a, there's a few Jeans on my channel. Okay, so anyway, I'll tell you about, uh, I made a video 
but they didn't let it go up. And it's some very important information on um, 5G, 6G, 7G. No, wait, that's this one. Okay. I want to go ahead and tell you about this video I just watched called Trust the Plan. HR 2881 Secure 5G and Beyond Act of 2020. Okay, and this was dated March the 26th of 2020, and it's from Shaking My Head Productions. Now, it sounds like Trump's voice is telling this story, and I'm not sure it could be a preacher, but I was listening and listening, but anyway, he's playing this speech, or maybe it's out of a sermon. I don't. It's telling the story about the lady who sees the pretty snake, nearly frozen. She picks it up, wraps it up, takes it home, puts it by the fireplace in a silk comforter, and when she comes home the next day, she finds it's revived. Anyway, it ends up biting her, and... It's, um, oh, what's the name of it? Uh, like a parable, but it, there's another name for it. Anyway, this whole video is talking about the, um, HR 2881. Here, let me just, um, I want to keep it muted. Let's see, let me do that. Let me pull that back. So I can just, it shows some of uh, Trump encouraged American companies to step up their efforts or get left behind. I kind of thought that was an interesting choice of words. And see, the, the pictures go by pretty fast. So you have to kind of pause. You're listening to this, whatever's in the background, and then this story about the snakes at the end. But you have to pause and read, and then or pause and look at the pictures. And, you know, so to really get what this video is trying to tell you without telling you, you've got to pause a lot. Okay, so I'm going to put the link to that in the description box. And then the video I tried to put up, I got in my email um, from, it's actually a site I did not realize. Let me pull it up. And just very, very briefly summarize. It's all, it's about the same thing and what it does to your body. Uh, what it can do and does it have anything to do with the thing that's keeping us shut in our house okay you get that okay so that's probably why now I just saw it I thought I did Oh my goodness, yeah, here it is. It's, it's, um, gee, I don't want to say too much. I want it to go up this time. Okay, well, it's titled, Experts Have Linked, uh, the number after four and the seventh letter, and which that video I just told you about goes into that. And the acceleration of viral replication. Okay, that's all I'm going to tell you about this. But it will be the second link in the description box. And <clears throat> it must be really good stuff because they didn't allow it up. Probably because I titled it from a quote in here. What does the number after five and uh, I mean the number after four and the seventh letter, 
have to do with the letter after B and the letter after U. <laughs> oh, this is so crazy trying to talk in, uh, um, what do you call it? Code. <laughs> so our videos go up. <laughs> Don't get taken down. I think um, it's time to move to uh, Brighty on. <laughs> But there's just, it's so difficult. I, I, I'm trying to follow Kathy and Dan on there. Uh, and they have live, they have live, um, you, I can go there any time of the day or night and chat with somebody if they're, the, if there's anybody in there. Okay. They have that. And they had, I don't know how much it costs or, or what, what you got to do, but it, it was difficult just signing up so I could get on there and watch the videos. Okay, but she does a live thing every night, and it's really cool when I can take the time to go to that for an hour, and then I usually ask for a link to watch the rest of it and, and then move on because that's, I have my own work to do here. So I'm going to end this here, and I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over it. And over the internet connection and over myself and my computer and each and every one of you and your devices and all of your internet connections. And with that, I'm going to say bye for now. Don't forget that second link. Very important information. Okay. Bye for now. Talk to you later.